my shower. Today is December 1st. Today is the day of my tummy tuck muscle repair. I just took a shower with this stuff right here. This good old stuff right here. Chlorhexidine. Yeah. Hippo cleanse. Um, I'm hoping I'm not over cuz I got a little itchy. But right now it's about 540 and I have to be ready by 630 because I have transportation coming. Pick me up and take me and my boyfriend across the border. And um, so I need to get a move on it. Um, I'm looking rough, y'all. I don't even care. But, um, ooh, oh my God, it won't, so, it won't be so dry. Anyway, I'll check back in with y'all when I finish getting dressed. Good morning, guys. So I just want to share with y'all what I'm taking with me on day of surgery. Um, I, of course, have my toothbrush and some toothpaste. Um, I have my vitamins. I have a heating pad. I don't know if I'm going to be cold after surgery or not, but if I am, you know, I don't. I, I like being cold, but not like freezing cold. I don't got time for that. Um, I have this urinal. Um... I see a lot of people get it um, to help them pee after surgery because you can't quite squat down. Um, I have some cough drops for my throat because I think after that tube's in your mouth, you know, get dry. Speaking of dry mouth, I got um, also some Vaseline for my lips. Um, I have some alcohol pads. Um, I'm going to use these. Just in case I get nauseous or feel like I'm about to, not nauseous, but if I feel dizzy, like I'm about to pass out, um, alcohol wipes are good for bringing you back too. Um, I have some wet wipes, um, antibacterial wet wipes. Um, I have some empty bottles. Don't know what I'll need those for, but I just put them in there. I don't know why. Um, then I have some um, pads just in case my period comes on um, and then I have some um, of these um, because I'm getting transport so I don't want to mess up the lady's car so I'm going to put these in her car when I return so that I'm not dripping on her stuff um, bodily fluids or blood and stuff because you know I gotta got time for that all right so I'm taking all of that with me let me go let me go get my toothpaste y'all Excuse this room. I'm going to clean it real quick before I leave. It's not really that dirty. I just need to make the bed. I clean the bathroom and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Anyways. So that's the stuff that I'm taking with me. Um, so surgery. And then on this side, I just have my clothes. Um, I'm actually going to wear this today. Um, it's just a pajama set. And y'all will see me in it in a minute. Um, I also have a robe. And I have my fa a faha that I bought on Amazon. Um, just in case I don't need theirs. But I'll buy one if I do. I got a pair of drawers. <laughs> a pair of panties. I have a hat and a scarf just in case I get cold. I have the um, compression socks as well as um, these ones for surgery. Um, but I'm all ready to go. Important, important, important to do a double check of your paperwork before you leave. So I have my purse here. I have my purse here with my um, like my money for one uh, in my documents. I got my laptop. That's really for Bay, not me, because he's gonna be bored out his mom. That's his bag with his stuff in it. He got snacks and accoutrements in there. And then I have my walker that I may take. I don't know if I'm take the walker. Could take the walker. But that's it. So I'll be back, guys. I'm excited. I'm nervous. Um, I done said my prayers. I'm just ready to get the ball rolling. This is a last look at this stomach. Before, um, before I go in and get it chopped off. 
but this is the last look at my stomach. This is, I ain't, excuse me y'all, I'm not pull my whole stomach up cause I ain't put no bra on or no panties cause I know they gonna make me take it off anyway. Um, I put some in my bag for afterwards, but I don't even know if I'll be able to wear them in. But as y'all can see, compared to my body, my stomach is massive compared to my body. And it's mostly, it's fat, but it's a lot of skin too. So even if I was to lose 50 more pounds, it'll still be here. But um, I'm not getting any lipo because I'm scared about my hemo. I just, I had to get a blood transfusion uh, two days ago on the 27th Saturday, which is the day I was supposed to have surgery. Um, but I got a blood transfusion that day. So when I go in this morning, they're gonna retest my hemo um, and then get me prepped for surgery. But I imagine that I'm probably ain't gonna be in surgery until about 12, one o'clock, even though I'm going in at 7 a.m. But you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so last look at this stomach. Last look at this stomach. This is my right side. This is front view. This is side view. All right, guys, so, um, when I'm driving in, I'll bring you guys back on so y'all can see what it looks like going across the border. Um, I'll see y'all soon. Bye bye. Never know, you know. Do you usually um, cross over?
it expensive in, to stay in Mexico? Like, how much is the rent, like, on average? It's, on average, it's a lot less. A lot it's less. It's a lot less, and the cost of living is less. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you can cross and you can do, like, your shopping in the U.S. Prices, mm -hmm. I will say that if you want American products, you're going to pay, like, double over here. Or you're going right. to pay for people to cross them, you know? So, mm -hmm. if you can just do your own shopping and stuff, it makes it worth it. Right. I feel like you get more bang for your buck. You can get a maid. You can get. Police in front of us. What is that? That's the police car right here. No, that jeep. Yeah, the jeep. No, 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 no. Oh no, that's just someone. So everybody like people ride with those things in the front of their cars like that. Yeah, you can honestly here in Mexico, they don't have restrictions on none of that. You can put whatever you want on your car, honestly. <laughs> You gonna have license down here? Uh, no, nobody has licenses in Mexico. I swear. <laughs> it's it's every man for himself. It's the wild wild west type of thing. <laughs> Cause all you have to do is have money, and you get out of a ticket. You get out of whatever. You know. Just like America, you gotta have a lot of money though. No, here <laughs> here you five ten bucks. Here five ten bucks, and you know they look the other way. Oh it, wow. It ain't no ain't no problem. Oh no. They gonna hit you in the head. <laughs> oh, muscle minerals like you would walk. So here's the consulate, right? Uh -huh. And I'll show you where the clinic is. We're just gonna literally. There's a sidewalk. Oh, yeah, I seen. I was. I always uh, pay attention to my surround. Yeah, like, and so this sidewalk right here, and it's one of the safest spots you can be at i mean they have these guards they don't do anything but you know they watch so you ain't gonna get kidnapped here nothing like that um and you just pretty much would follow this and yeah. we're gonna go right up to the clinic so yeah, I, remember, I remember that 7-eleven i start right when i came down last i didn't come no i did come up this road but i was i was paying attention what was in front of me yeah, and i was yeah. losing services so i really wasn't trying to yep. look out to the side and so buildings. then you have this 7-eleven <laughs> you have right out in this corner they have good cake at that place right there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this restaurant ain't that bad either. I and mean, that's closer to you. Um, there is a pharmacy right here in the corner if you want to fill a prescription. And then here's your Ulta. You get tired, you want some snacks, sodas, whatever. They're going to, they'll take care of you there. And then we were right here. Very much. Good morning, you guys. So I've made it to the MD clinic. It's about 7 a.m. So I guess I'll be waiting here. And I know for a fact this morning I have to do. So um, I, don't, I doubt that I'll be the first surgery of the day. But I'm here. And what's your name? Trisha. We have Trisha here this morning as well. Say hi, Trisha. Hi. She's going in. She, you'll probably be before me. What are you getting? Lipo Oh yeah, they're probably gonna take you first because they gotta do more work over you. But all right. These are the Fajas. all right good morning guys so just another update it's about 8 33 and i finally been called to the back um taking off all my clothes and i'm waiting for nurse valentina to come in um how I'm feeling right now, I'm a little nervous, excited, but I'm ready to get it over with. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll, they'll be coming in and giving me my IV mix because um, right here. So, that would be next. 
anyways i will check back with you guys in a few so um the surgical nurse just came in nurse chavez and um i basically paid my balance let me let y'all guys see hold on okay tummy tuck muscle repair um the injection and the pain pump so um make sure you guys make room for extra expenses because you'll need the this is so you don't get blood clots and um this is the pain pump and that's pretty much it so next the doctor is going to well actually nurse valentine is going to come back and put my iv in and they're going to retake my blood so that's what's about to happen next Tries, but it's there. I believe I was dehydrated, but I'm good. Um, they just put a, I think some type of sedative um, in my IV. She said it's gonna calm me down because it's, it's kind of anxious. But um, yeah, I'm waiting for the doctor to come in. I'm good. But I will check back in with you guys if I can. Bye bye. Na 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 na. Hey hey. hey. <laughs> bye. I start recording these people walk through the door. Well, hey y'all, I did good. Well, I did good. I'm mm -hmm. gonna try and get y'all my version of what happened to me while she was in surgery. What I do to you, babe? You know what I mean? beat them up. They hurt you, they hurt you, babe. They hurt you, babe. No, babe. They know not to hurt me. Oh. And I know not to bring no problems. Mm. You can't really see. Mm. Mm. But you don't look the same. As long as you say, Okay. Baby, don't make me like you. The bottom part is the top part where they did the muscle repair. It's so tight and burned. Then it's pain. It did this give me some pain last night. This shit ain't working. That shit hurt. I 
Yeah. This would that be. I don't know what that means, but that's what it is. Tom, I got out of surgery, babe. Oh, I came in here at 5.10. 5.10. And I went in at, like, what, 11? Um, I guess so. Yeah. So I'm out of surgery, and I'm still out of it. I want to anesthesia. I'm okay besides the pain. My upper abdomen. I think it's the muscle repair. I burn like hell. And it's, I would say from a 1 to 10, it's definitely a 9.5. Well, I'm doing okay. Uh, they want me to get another transfusion. Uh, so, that's what's going on. Call next to uh, the transfusion. Um, other than that, I'm feeling okay. I haven't seen my stomach yet. Uh, I won't plan to see it today. Uh, maybe tomorrow. I'll take a look at it. But I'm just trying to breathe through this pain. Uh, you know. Okay. My baby's here to see my baby. I love kids. You love me, baby? Babe. Mm. You love me? Mm hmm. Okay. What are you doing? I'm back. I made it to the flat side, y'all. I'm turning it on, baby. Mm -mm. What you eating? Nothing wrong with it. Oh. I'm just sleepy. Tired. Um. I feel a burning sensation in my upper, upper abdomen. You know. Kind of feels like real bad gas. <laughs> I'm not going to laugh at all. Um, I check back in with y'all when I feel a little more here. Because I feel a little bit out of it. But this pain ain't no joke. This is not for the week. Um, and I pray for me a speedy recovery. Hi guys, so Valentina just came in and she um gave me two tubes of um antibiotics to prevent infection. Um I still got that she called that stuff. I don't even know what she called it stuff. Because I can't think straight. You know, I'm trying to go to sleep, but my anxiety will not let me. It's horrible, so I'm trying to listen to some um, like rainfalls or scenery music because I know I need to rest, but for some reason, my body just won't let me sleep. Um, well, if you was my blood stat, that's not my real blood pressure. I don't know why it's up there like that. Yeah, 
my babe's over here in the corner. He's pretty tired, I guess. I was trying to talk to him, but he don't want to talk to me right now. I guess I'll talk to him when he wakes up. Love you, babe. Love you, babe. See? But, um, I'm so afraid to cough. I have some cough drops and some alkaline water. I'll check back with you guys later. Bye-bye. Hi guys, it's about 11 p.m. and um, I had to get another blood transfusion. Um, and I'm in pain, but um, I have to wait for a transfusion to receive more pain medicine. And my blood pressure is high. I just feel a lot of pressure, um, tightness, and you know, like a burning pain here and there, um, especially on my right side. I believe my drain is on my right side. I'm not for sure because I haven't looked at myself. Um, That's where we are now. I haven't gotten up to walk yet. Um, I still have a catherine to pee. Um, so, that's where I am now. I'll check back with y'all later. Uh, I'm swollen everywhere. And my face looks like a big potato. But I've been sucking on um, cough drops because I'm scared to death to cough. And just sipping water. I haven't ate anything. I don't really have an appetite. And I can't eat until after the transfusion anyway. So. After surgery, so I guess this would be day zero. Um, I feel more discomfort than anything, and um, this ain't for the week, y'all. Tell you that right now. I commend y'all ladies that go and get multiple things done. Ain't no way, ain't no way, boy, ain't no way. They got this wrap. So tight on my stomach, I had to act the loose I couldn't breathe on this side. They were wrapping up the damn lungs. Shit. So, um, it's about eight, and my discharge was at eleven. So I asked them, could I, you know, try to get up? Cause my whole back numb, my leg numb. I had my boyfriend massage my legs and my calves to like get the blood flowing and put me in some liquid pressure salts. And um, he just left him on by himself something to eat. And he went to go take a shower and then coming back. But I did, did it. The, the easiest part. Went on the table now, it's time to put and the hard work and heal. Um, the anesthesia is wearing off. Um, I got a pain pump. So that has to be put in before I leave. As well as um, I got a shot for blood thing. They already gave me that. So um, I just need to get my 
binder in my file before I leave and um, ask about post op care. Like, when can I come get the stitches removed? And how to clean my incision, which I pretty much know, but I'm gonna ask again anyway. Um, the nurse already went over how to do my drain this morning because she came to drain this morning. I had about 300 cc's in it. Um, but anyways, thanks for the project. I will be back. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye. So I broke Dr. Chavez's record. Look what he put on the back of the, my prescription, y'all. <laughs> Tummy tuck, 12.300 kilograms. Wow, record. Yeah. My stomach was 27 pounds. I made it to the flat side. I'm at home or at Airbnb. I'm gonna go to sleep, waiting for my nurse to come. This is my feeling nurse. I'm waiting for my other nurse to come. Y'all pray for me. I had to get another transfusion because of size of stomach and how much blood I lost. I got another transfusion. Um, I got my blood thinner shots, my antibiotics, uh, my tramadol, my pain pills, and I got iron to take and I got something for swelling so I'll be taking that um, and that's on top of my other vitamins that I'm taking um, which is I take heal fast um, and um, I take a probiotic I take magnesium I take vitamin B12 vitamin C and I take folic acid. So my vitamins alone is a meal, but I'm gonna split them up into taking them twice a day. But I gotta make sure I get my iron up. My face is so swollen. My lips ain't dry though. All right, y'all, y'all pray for me. I was just checking in. Um, I recorded a lot today, between yesterday and today. Um, I'll probably have my first YouTube video out by next week, hopefully. I'm gonna try, but I'm still out of it. I'm just gonna get as much rest as I can. I'll talk to y'all later, bye. I'm gonna blow it out anyway. Oh, baby, you don't realize how much you use your stomach till you gotta use it. Oh, oh, motherfucker, shit. I think that was my bladder. Move oh, that. It's right here in front of you. <gasps> <laughs> One talking about the camera, I was talking about the walker. Let go. I gotta make sure you can be able to move first. You know, you be moving. Give me this. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. What's that? Some pain pump that I don't even know how to use. Mm. Hmm? I look like one of the people from that um from that um Granny Annie's commercial. Mm -hmm. Granny Annie's. Wait a minute. I have for you. I can't use some. Swear to God. I'm gonna do it to myself.
out of belly too. Hmm. Hold this real quick. Is it wide enough or you want to put it all the way? Mm hmm. Open the door, Eric. Can you come in? Come in. Watch your feet, babe. Watch the door. head on the shower. Huh? I'll finish it where you can just stand up in the shower and just rinse off, but you don't have no detachable there. You gotta take that off. I'll take these socks off, babe. On both sides? No, just that side. Yeah, I see you too. Now you see why those towels there. That's crazy. Is these my towels? Not at all. Ain't nothing wrong with them towels at all. Is it? Nope. My towels in there on the floor. All these towels should be yours, dear. Why would you tell me they mine? I just thought about it. I always put my stuff on the floor in the pile. Yours everywhere. I even have to wash my shoes. Sheesh! At least it got on a tile. That makes it any better. This shit ain't pretty. At all. So if you're trying to be cute. I don't think they're trying to be cute. I think the people are probably going to say, well, why he ain't helping her? Why right. You're gonna have to help me. I'm gonna face the camera to you. Shit. I don't wanna see it. Don't no, they need to see it. You need to talk to them. You act like I ain't never peed on you. Don't make me laugh. You don't act like that. You act like ain't that. Ain't nothing but a little ski ski. Fuck it, ain't it? Tired of it? I don't want to just touch Pete. You don't want to just touch Pete. You don't even want to touch my boogers. Let alone the boogers. Man, you're a liar. I'll take your ingrown hairs. I'll you take get your eye boogers out every you day. You get tissue for my ingrown hairs. Whatever. I do take Whatever. Care. That's blood, though. Whatever. This is. What is this? Pete. Come on, babe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and comment down below any questions you have because I will be doing a Q&A video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook as Ashley Woods, that's W-O-O-D-S, as well as on TikTok as Ashley, that's me. Mm -hmm.